Now before we be, now before we get into this, I just want to say thank you for the uh, for the feedback I received on the BNA animation. Uh, I didn't really think much. So, uh, I didn't really think many people would like it, or at least most people would like it because of how rushed it was. But it seems you all liked it, uh, so <laughs> thank you for that. Um, but yeah, uh, I I never really expected to get uh, that that, m that much positive feedback on the video. It's it's honestly it's honestly it, it, it honestly feels good and honestly I just I just want to give a big shout out to uh, to Kindle to my friend Kindle who helped to write this because uh, because when we began making this I was having a pretty hard time coming up with the with a plot <laughs> with a plot for this video so he helped me with it and I gotta I gotta give special thanks to him for helping me to write it because if it wasn't for him this this that video would have probably never been possible so thank you to him. But uh, anyway, uh, now that we got that out of the way, uh, I have gotten the new Lionel Nickel Plate Fast Freight set for Christmas, and I was like, uh, you know what, I should do an unboxing, I should do an unboxing for the, N not, not this, this is a Pico Rail track cleaner, I'm Anyway, I should. I said to myself, I should probably do a review on this, and uh, I've never really done a review or unboxing video. You know what? Let's just call it an unboxing, I guess. Let's just call it. Let's just call it an unboxing video. I don't really know. If I'm. I'm good. I, I don't know if I'm actually good at reviewing stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just do that, I guess. So, um, this is Lionel's new HO scale train set. They recently come back into the market like two years ago or something. With the Polar Express set, um, and uh, this and they've been ba and basically ever since then they've been pumping out uh, carbon fucking copies of the same fucking set, but with like different road names such as New York Central. Uh, I think Santa Fe was one of them. It's basically just the Polar Express set, but with different road names. You're not fooling anybody, Lionel. Jesus Christ. But. I think that's eventually gonna change with this set right here, because no more are we gonna have, are, no more are we probably gonna have carbon copies of the same fucking Polar Express set. Um, as, as you can see here, they've released their first ever HO scale freight train set, uh, which comes with, uh, you know, custom uh, custom freight cars and uh, a modified version of their Polar Express engine, which is now a normal Berkshire. Of course. So, let's just open this up and see what we got here. Okay. Ah, shit. One of the fucking lights on the layout fell off. Okay. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Alright, I'm back. Okay. 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 Get out of here. Ah, shit. One of the fence posts fell over. I should not be reviewing this in the- I should not be- I should not be recording this in this spot. <laughs> since everything's falling over. Anyway, so, here is everything. I'm just, okay, you know what, let's just, okay. So here is literally every single piece of rolling stock and locomotive, and the remote as well. As you can see here, you know what, let's just, okay, I'm not good at this, I am so sorry. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna review them one by one. I'm just, I'm just gonna take them out one by one, here we are. Okay, okay. So, here, we got the locomotive, which is the 765 Berkshire. And as you can see, uh, it's not, it's not the, it's not like, uh, it's not like any of the carbon copy locomotives anymore, like you saw in the, uh, in the Santa Fe and New York Central sets. It's an, it looks like an actual Berkshire now, with the, uh, number boards on the top of the front here. You got the smaller cow catcher and front coupler finally. It's not an actual coupler, it's just a dummy coupler, but I'll fucking take it. It's a little disappointing, but the, the, the disappointment quickly fades when you realize that, oh wait, it actually has custom freight cars that actually look good. But yeah, this is the locomotive. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, the wheels kind of look similar to the one on the Polar Express, but eh, whatever, it's fine. Anyway. This is the tender. Uh, not much to see here. It's just, it's just a, it's just the same tender, I think, but with nickel plate road and N NYC 
and STL on the side as well. And also 765 on the back because, yeah. Yeah, that's basically that. Now here is one of the here is one of the freight cars. This is uh, this is the container car or the flatbed. Um, I don't think the containers are actually removable. I've tried. Uh, it seems that they are just glued on there or something. So you can't. I don't think you can take them off. Uh, they seem to they seem to be pretty stuck on there. So I'm been, I'm just gonna assume that they're supposed to be staying on there. But yeah, this is the flatbed. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got nickel plate road high speed freight service on the side of the containers here. Uh, some KD couplers and these lovely metal wheels. Lovely metal wheels. I love those. Uh, those look nice. And um, it's got MKP 2019 on the side, as well as a few other uh, initials as well. And uh, yeah, that's the first freight car. This, uh, I think this is supposed to be, I think this is one, I think this is a grain car. It kind of looks like a coal car, except the, the top is covered, so it's, I, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that it's a grain car. Cause that's what most grain cars look like in the United States with their tops covered. But yeah, this is the, this is the Nickel Plate Road grain car. Um, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got the metal wheels and KD couplers as well, as you can see here. Uh, as, you, as you can probably see here, um, but yeah, looking pretty swell, um, and uh, honestly, uh, once we get to the, once we get, you know what, once we get to the, once we get to the box car, this is where things are probably gonna, are probably gonna look probably pretty good, probably better than Bachman standards, to be honest. Um, this is a nickel plate road tank car. As you can see here, everything is nickel plate road. Obviously, because this is a nickel plate road high speed fast freight set. Anyway, uh, yeah, same stuff here. KD couplers, metal wheels. Uh, the top doesn't open, unfortunately. Cringe. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the box car, and honestly, uh, it looks actually somewhat better than the Bachman box than, than Bachman's box cars honestly it just I don't know it just looks it just it just feels a lot more better than that than that it's got the metal wheels of course and the KD couplers and opening doors because yes and honestly that's probably that's probably the best thing that's probably like the best thing about this box car the doors actually open I have like a few box cars on my layout that doors don't actually open, um, because Bachman is probably lazy or something. I don't know, um, but yeah, these the the doors actually open. It's cool. I like it a lot. It seems a lot, and it looks a lot more better than what Bachman does, or what or what Bachman makes. But yeah, um, I'm taking a lot of stabs at Bachman trains here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a good this is a good box car. I like it. And now for the last, uh, for the last piece of rolling stock, uh, the caboose. It looks pretty nice, honestly. I like this caboose a lot. It looks a lot more different than the cabooses that I have on the, uh, on the layout. Because usually, the little hub here, or the little hub, uh, uh the, the hump here, I guess. Uh, this would usually be, like, in the middle, but it's more, but it's more to, like, to the left here. Um... And honestly, I think that that's probably uh, that's probably gonna add a bit of variety. I guess I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a good caboose. I like it. And the same stuff here: metal wheels and uh, KD couplers. I'm probably wrong about the couplers part, but I don't know. I don't know. Someone will probably correct me in the comments and yell at me of how stupid I am and how I'm such a uh, dumbass when it comes to model railroading. But yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway. Uh, here's the remote. I don't think this comes with batteries. Yeah, this doesn't come with batteries. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some batteries for this thing. Uh, yeah, but that's the remote. Uh, I think for now, I'm just gonna run this off of my controller, off of my DCC controller, because I'm too lazy to put batteries in this thing. So, uh, this is the remote. It looks pretty nice. Um, it looks like the, it looks like the one that I have for, 
the Polar Express, of course, they're gonna be the same thing. They're gonna look like the same thing. Uh, I thought this is gonna be a different color, honestly, but... Oh, whatever. The only thing that's changed here is the 765 here, and Nickel Plate Road right here. So anyway, that's the remote. Um... Okay, so you know... <laughs> So you know how I said I wasn't going to use the remote and I was going to just use the controller instead? Yeah, I didn't feel like programming the- I didn't feel like programming it into the controller, so I just- <laughs> I got the remote batteries instead. Um, so yeah, uh... Let's just put this back on the track so I can- Oh, fuck, hang on. Yeah, I'll be right back with you when I- Put the thing on the track again. Fully back on the tracks again, and I have the uh, entire console set up as to how it was set up in the, uh, the box art. And uh, let's test out the, the sounds. This is the whistle. And that bell. And, uh, same th the bell is the same as the Polar Express. She got the announcements button. This is the dispatcher. Get her set up running. Your train will be ready at 17.30. Over. Okay, let's get to work. Out. Dispatcher, am I cleared to the outbound? Over. Your route is lined and locked. Have a safe run. Out. Now, so I think that's probably... I think it's probably all the announcements or all the voice lines for this thing. Um, it's probably going to be more when I'm running it, but uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's give it a little, a little bit of more. Actually, I should probably take the coaches off the track first because that's probably going to be blocking it. I'll be right back. All right, so the coaches are put away. Uh, let's get this crap started. Oh, son of a- Are you fucking- Okay, so I'm starting to notice a bit of a problem here. As you can see, the coupler height on both the caboose and the container car here are not exactly the same. Um, I swear to God, <laughs> these things are not bent. They are literally brand new. I don't know why the height is not the same. That's... That is really weird. In fact, I think it's, it's... I think it's different on the... Yeah, it's a little bit different on the tanker and the container car. Yeah, you can sort of see it. I don't know if you can, but you can sort of see that the height is a little different. And it's extremely noticeable on the caboose and the container car here. Um, this is probably a bit of a defect. I think... It's probably a defect that Lionel could later fix in later versions. I know you can like temp- you can like uh, I know this is basically like an easy fix though. You can like stick a couple washers underneath the coupler and it'll probably um, fix that by just um, uh, by, by just uh, moving it up if you put washers under the coupler here. But uh, yeah. I, this is, this is really, this is really dumb, but I mean, you know, it's the, it, this, this set is pretty much brand new, like, I think this is released, like, earlier this year or something, so, there's probably gonna be, uh, later versions of this set that have this problem rectified, but this is a bit of a, this is kind of cringe that Lionel didn't notice this when they were, when they were shipping this out. Like, come on, man. Don't you, like, test these things or something? But, yeah, that's the only issue I have with this set.
All right, now I'm just gonna shamelessly rip a page out of Sam's Trains' books and try out the crawl test on this thing. Now, uh, just to be clear, I have uh, I have just cleaned the tracks where the train is standing for maximum, maximum performance. performance. Anyway, uh, so that should be that, that should um, be easier for it to do its thing, and uh, yeah. So let's give it a little bit of a let's give it a little bit of power. And see how it does. Come on. Yeah. I think that's that's very nice. That's a very nice crawl. Very nice slow speed. That is very good. Alright. Probably because my tracks are a little dirty, but, you know, I tried. With this Pico uh, eraser thing. Anyway, but yeah. So, this has been Lionel's uh, HO scale Berkshire freight train set. And honestly, I think it's pretty good. The dummy coupler, the dummy coupler on the front of the locomotive is a little disappointing because I kind of expected it to be a, an actual coupler like the rest of the other couplers on the train, um, but unfortunately it isn't. But that's not really, that doesn't really disappoint me that much because the freight cars look excellent as well as the caboose. The only issue I have, uh, the only main issue I have really is the fact that the coupler heights are a little uneven. And that can lead to the train just completely decoupling itself at random points if your tracks aren't une aren't uh, are uneven, uh, like mine. So that's a bit of a problem, but hopefully that gets rectified in the future. And honestly, it's not really a big of an issue um, because you can just like you can literally fix that by inserting some washers under the coupler, and that'll raise it. Or lower it, or whatever you want it to the correct height, so that your you, your couplings won't decouple in the middle of the uh, you know moving, if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, it's a pretty good set, and honestly, I think this is uh this is probably one of the one of Lionel's best HO scale sets by far, and I honestly honestly want to see them do more than just Berkshires in the future, like maybe. Like maybe you were like maybe do some diesel locomotives. Hey, maybe another HO scale steam engine like a, like a GS4 or a cab forward maybe. I mean they already modified the uh, their Polar Express to be more like an actual Berkshire here. So I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with anything else other than a Berkshire in the near future. Um, and that would be that that would be pretty good actually. That would be pretty nice. But anyway. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say here, so this has been Pacific Productions, and uh, I will leave you with a, with a with a little bit of a montage of the 765 hauling a rake of passenger coaches. So yeah, I will leave you to that. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.